Hello. In this video, we will be walking through the Syncfusion Essential Studio for JavaScript. Syncfusion offers a complete suite of controls uh, that target web applications, um, so you can use them with ASP.NET MVC, ASP.NET Web Forms, or you can use them just with the standard uh, JavaScript applications agnostic of any particular backend. Uh, you can directly connect to web services or PHP backends or anything. So I'm looking at the samples page uh, that is available on samples.syncfusion.com and uh, you see the different framework samples that we offer on the left side. Now some of these uh, cannot be run um, online, so you see uh, mobile, iOS, Android uh, samples. Those will give you a set of screenshots and let you download the actual um, framework uh, for testing out. But with the web uh, um, products, you can actually just run the samples online as well as obtain access to the um, samples offline if you download the full evaluation. So we'll take a quick look at the JavaScript product. So these are some of the samples that ship with the product. On the left side, you have um, individual framework specific samples. So if you look at the grid or tree grid or spreadsheet, uh, you can navigate down and look at those samples. Uh, on the right side, uh, we have a set of showcase samples, uh, so you can click on any of these and they will load in a separate page and uh, they're more like samples that include more than one framework and uh, uh, show you ways in which the controls can be put together. So I'm just going to go through a few of these uh, quickly. So this is a spreadsheet uh, sample, it's just an empty spreadsheet, but you see the ribbon control on top and then uses our spreadsheet control, so it's very Excel-like, um, very similar look and feel. Um, and you um, have a lot of um, the feature set basically, including the ability to bring in an Excel file and edit it and persist it and so forth. Um, this is a dashboard that was created uh, from scratch with the JS product, uh, so you see the um, controls, uh, the various controls that are used here. There's a map control, there's a couple of charts, and then there's a range navigator at the bottom, and then uh, there are gauges at the top uh, customized for different uh, KPIs and so forth, basically. Um, this is an expense tracking, app, expense analysis application. Uh, it's primarily the grid, and then there are some cards um, that you have to navigate through, and then you can uh, select the month that you're looking at and, and so forth. Um, this is a really cool sample. It is our di it showcases our diagramming control. Um, so you see that this is very similar to Visio, um, and you can interactively um, diagram um, with, with on the web. Um, and uh, this is customizable uh, with uh, shapes that are provided out of the box. But you can have uh, shapes that are created that are specific to your domain as well, basically. So if you're looking at electrical shapes or different kinds of flowchart shapes and so forth, or your own custom domain uh, about which the diagram control may have no idea, you can still go in and customize those, uh, serialize them and so forth. Very, very uh, powerful diagramming support. Um, this is a GAN chart um, just uh, showing a project like um, uh, tracking uh, environment. Again, very um, customizable. You can uh, make it fit your need. Um, it's very interactive. Uh, you can actually make changes and it will update. You have a rich set of client-side interaction um, events and so forth that you can work with. And everything is happening on the client-side. Uh, you're not going back to the server for anything. This is another dashboard uh, built with the chart and with the gauge control and, and with the uh, grid. So these are some uh, feature samples that we ship with. Um, as with the um, other products, um, if you're familiar with the Syncfusion uh, evaluation uh, system, you always have uh, detailed samples for each product as well. So here I'm drilling down and looking at the grid. Uh, so you see how to bind to a local data source uh, with the grid, see how to bind to remote data sources, um, O data, uh, how to customize a command, how to use a column template, how to set up a foreign key column. Um, how to have editing enabled, um, how to enable multiple sorting. Anything that you wish to do um, with the control uh, is often showcased in uh, great detail with the sample. Um, and uh, you can just look at the sample and uh, extract the code and uh, use it with your application. And use it to kind of cross-reference the documentation as well. It's a very, very rich evaluation environment. It's designed to make your job easier. So this, that's the grid. Uh, this is the spreadsheet that we looked at uh, in other, um, in the in one of the um, 
bigger featured samples but you see here that you have a full uh, set of samples how to freeze panes how to show and hide them how to embed a chart how to have a hyperlink and comment it's just very very uh, full-fledged um, you can look at any of these samples and be up and running uh, pretty quickly um, so this uh, this is the PDF viewer control so we have a full-fledged JS viewer um, that uh, is, is um, uh, can display PDF files it's very powerful um, maps uh, we looked at the diagram this is a schedule control um, looks like outlook like scheduling supported um, and then uh, this is a barcode uh, control will generate different kinds of barcodes um, and uh, uh, supports different standards and so forth. Uh, this is a chart. Uh, this chart is really one of the most powerful web charting controls uh, available. You can compare it directly with um, in any other framework out there. Um, there are some frameworks which charge you royalties, which charge you server fees and so forth. You can compare it one-on-one -on -one with any of those frameworks and our chart will come out ahead of all of them. So you can take a look at it, uh, evaluate it, and, and see for your, uh, yourself. Um, very, very rich chart, uh, charting control. It's included with uh, the Essential Studio package. Uh, so that's another um, control that uh, is of interest. Uh, there's a rich text editor, so you have a word-like editing experience on the web. Uh, so you can actually, um, which is very similar to um, how uh, Word would uh, work on a rich client environment. So that's supported. Uh, we show, saw some gauges already, but I'll just show one or two of these here just to give an idea. And um, uh, it's really um, office like ribbon UI, a very powerful control that you can easily embed in your application. Um, there's also support for uh, BI specific controls. So whether you are bound to an OLAP backend um, or to uh, just you know some plain data and you want to pivot it, then uh, you, we have a pivot grid control that can uh, offer some of those benefits on top of any data source that you have. It's very powerful uh, stuff. Um, there's a data manager that's built into the framework, uh, allows you to bring in data from remote data sources and stuff. I've covered the predictive analytics in another video, but the uh, same um, features are available within JavaScript also. I encourage you to take a look at that video. The essential idea is that you can train a model in an environment such as R, Spark, Apache Spark, which we ship as part of our big data platform, and then you could serialize the model and then bring it into our um, execution system in JS um, or any of the other frameworks that we support, and you're able to execute it com using our runtime, uh, completely independent of the um, backend that was used to generate the model itself. Uh, we also have a rich set of samples that highlight how to use the different controls with Angular JS. So if you're looking at the grid or Gantt or any of these, we get uh, a specific set of samples that showcase how to use it with Angular in the, in the most straightforward um, recommended way, basically. We also ship a full-fledged report viewer. Uh, this is SQL Server reporting services compatible. Uh, you can embed this in your JS applications. The cool thing about this is it's because it's standards-based. Uh, standards uh, you can be confident that your data will always be readable. Uh, whether you have access to our controls or not, uh, you're not tied to the environment. This is not a proprietary file format. It is a documented file format that is also used um, by SQL Server Reporting Services, the reporting definition language uh, file format, RDL. So that's uh, another um, control uh, that we offer, another framework. Another cool thing that we offer is this Team Studio that uh, is uh, makes it super simple to customize the controls um, to have them uh, update to a look and feel that matches the rest of the application. So you can do this online with the Theme Studio editor that we have. And then once you're comfortable with the theme, then you can uh, your design team can actually uh, download that theme and then you can share it as part of your project. So that's something that we offer as well. So take a look at the samples, uh, play around with them, uh, let us know what you think. Um, and as always, uh, since it's part of Syncfusion Essential Studio, comes with a community license also so if you qualify with a community license for the community license then you have access to the full set of controls um, otherwise you can download the evaluation full 30-day evaluation play around with it and um, if you have any questions or any um, need any samples please contact us through our direct track support system uh, we hope you enjoy using the product again thank you for your time